You heard the woman weeping, the harlots pleading, the birds screeching, yet you still placed that crown of thorns on his head and left him bleeding. You watched them shout, crucify him, and you looked at them in approval. Little did you know that all your thoughts towards him were nothing but delusion. You hated him, you accused him, mocked him. You did everything you could to abuse him. And once he permitted you to get hold of him, you wanted to get rid of what was told of him. Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes, that's what they called you. You said to him, you're not the Messiah. You made the people to believe too, but they didn't want to. You watched him stagger up the path with a heavy plank of wood on his back. Some giving him water to drink so that even in that situation, he wouldn't lack. Imagine the shards of wood that were stabbing the shoulder wounds that were already there. That was a punishment you gave our saviour he couldn't even bear. But he did it anyway. He endured all the shame. Because now, if not for his sacrifice, we wouldn't even know his name. You watched him push and push and shove him up to the top of the hill. There he saw where his punishment stood still. The cross. There his hands and feet lay. They grabbed nails and hammered it into his wrist. A crack to the bone made him cry and yell. But they did it again because it didn't pierce through very well. His blood dripped down and hit the ground like rain. But let me tell you, any time you deny him, you crucify him again and again and again. Don't be a Pharisee and a Sadducee and a scribe. Instead of nailing Jesus to the cross, just keep him alive. <laughs>